Well, I'd probably say that if I weren't a teacher, I'd be running a ranch out on the wide plains of Colorado, and I'd employ people like John Wayne and Clint Eastwood, and might have to smack them around a couple times, but I'd get them to do the work, and we'd get all them little doggies in the corral, and it'd be a good life. Ferret Hunter. Oh. If I was not teaching, I would probably continue my career and turn professional as a ballerina. If I wasn't teaching, I would be Mr. Marzok's personal trainer. If I was not a teacher, I would either be searching for the actual physical boundaries to Brookerville or possibly be a rock star. Um, if I wasn't teaching, I'd probably be working for a newspaper somewhere. If I wasn't teaching, well, there's really no doubt about it. I would go and sign up with Barry Manilow and be a groupie with his tour band. I know he's doing Las Vegas now, but he's also going to be touring some places. I could be backstage. I could be wiping his forehead. I could be there for him. Barry Manilow, love you! If I wasn't uh, working as a teacher here at the high school, I'd probably be a starving artist with the emphasis on starving. If I couldn't teach, my heart would be broken. But if I wasn't teaching, I'd probably be a horse trainer. I can't imagine doing anything else. This is all I ever wanted to do. If I was not a teacher, I'd probably be a professional wrestler named Gutsman. And my finishing move would probably be the eye poke. The eye poke or the back rake because it's always the most devastating move that the person does. So that's why I would probably do that, because an eye poke, when you really get somebody in... <laughs> what? <laughs> Good morning, Ephrathah. My name is Seth. And I'm Gerald. And today is Tuesday, January 23rd. Hey, Gerald. You ever wonder why we have the cinder block here in the middle of the desk? Um, I do. I just, I, I, I don't know why it's here. Let's ask our local F the AM historian, Edwin Crockett. Edwin, please tell us why. I'm glad you brought me in, boys. See, this is actually something that's really interesting. I think you'll, uh, you'll really enjoy this little tidbit of information here. You see, this is actually a sacred artifact of our tribe, and it's actually considered heresy to remove it from the desk because F the AM loses all of its power and will become instantly unfunny. I am Zeus. Wow. The more you know. Please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. Hey. This That's Friday is the last day to submit <laughs> registration forms for the third annual ESD coding contest, which will be held in March. Registration forms are available in the high school main office. Pick up one form to register your team of two or three, and return your completed form to the main office no later than Friday, January 26th. All team members sign up on the same form, so be sure to allow time for all teammates to get their parents' signatures. See your math teacher or contact Mrs. Hooper if you have any questions. Students are reminded that today, that's not today, Friday, January 26th is the last day to drop a course without receiving a withdraw failing mark. All forms must have a written essay along with the parent's signature. The deadline is 3 p.m. on Friday. Now over to Edwin, our local FDAM historian, with the news. The U.S. State Department is experiencing what Foreign Policy Magazine is calling a brain drain in experts on diplomatic tra trade sanctions. The United States foreign policy has long resorted to using economic and military hard power to influence foreign nations. This creates a conundrum. We love using trade sanctions, but people who actually know how to write the sanctions are in short supply. Over the past year, the U.S. State Department has suffered from underemployment and tight budgets, both of which are causing foreign policy, foreign and domestic critics to describe American foreign policy as lackluster. On this day, in history, Nancy Kerrigan wins the 1993 Female Figure Skating Championship. The world would set her up to participate in the 1994 Winter Olympics, thus setting in motion the events of the Tonya Harding scandal of the same year. 
This hit story involved Tonya Harding's husband hiring someone to attack Nancy Kerrigan in the legs, almost preventing her from competing. Though both women ended up competing in the Winter Olympics, Nancy Kerrigan would prove victorious over Tonya Harding. Such a cool story. Now we're back to the, now over to Seth. Seth, Seth did lunch, lunch today! Back. Lunch is 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 back. For the new year. Today for lunch, we have walking tacos. Breaded chicken patty with a whole grain roll. Papa John's pizza. Crispy chicken wrap. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Buffalo chicken salad. Sweet potato fries. Green pepper strips with dip. Tex-Mex bean salad. An assorted fresh fruit or... That wonderful... Slushy. Hey, thought I'd show a little bit of my bathroom, but more importantly, I'm gonna share with you um, how to play Lamborghini ball. My favorite thing, it's got a full court bathroom. So if you like to play basketball or ball, basketball or banana ball, bathroom ball or tennis, it's important that you understand how to win basketball. That's a big one. People always talk about basketball. Resorts, we don't have any, but we go to Ephrata, so we're all winners. Girls Lacrosse winter warm-ups are on Mondays at 3.30 and Wednesdays at 5.30. Each session will last an hour and a half. If you're interested in learning more, register for the Schoology Club using the access code F4BH7-NKT2B. Today, wrestling is away at E-Town. Now back to the main desk. What? Uh, that's it for us. Ephrata. <gasps> no! You fools! What have you done? We didn't do it. We didn't do it. Doomed. It's okay. The Eagles won the Super Bowl. Like, that is true. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> have a day, everybody. All right. State your name and power. I am the Waffler. With my griddle of justice, I bash the enemy in the head, or I burn them like so. Oh, ah. Next. Hi. Uh, I am Pencil Head. And I am son of Pencil Head. We erase uh, crime. Two generations of... <clears throat> right. Yes, thank you. I'd say there's potential. Somebody wants...